the next members of the International Space Station crew all believe that their six-month mission is an important part of the work that's needed to help human beings continue to explore well beyond their home planet. Pavel Vinogradov was born in the far eastern Russian town of Magadan and grew up in the even farther eastern town of Anodir, just 500 miles across the Bering Sea from Nome, Alaska. If you have been to Alaska, then it's pretty much the same. The nature is just fantastic. Of course, the climate is very harsh, eight months of winter, lots of snow and ice, but I love it. I enjoy it. After a childhood spent dreaming of becoming a pilot, Vinogradov left the Nodir after high school for the Moscow Aviation Institute. He earned a degree in rocket booster design then taught and did research at the Institute while earning a second degree in computer systems and systems analysis. Vinogradov joined the design bureau of the Rocket Space Corporation Energia in 1983 and worked on the Mir space station, the Buran shuttle, and other Energia vehicles before being selected to Energia's Cosmonaut Corps in 1992. He logged 198 days in space as the board engineer on Mir 24 and made five spacewalks to repair Mir after a Progress freighter punched a hole in it in the summer of 1997. He made one more spacewalk in 2006 as commander of the International Space Station's Expedition 13, a 183-day mission that restored the station's crew complement to three. He believes today's space exploration efforts bear comparison to the sea voyages of the great explorers in the Age of Discovery. People who were exploring the Earth did not know what, that they will discover America in four months, for example. The risks were great. Um, but I have no doubt that, likewise, we, as those explorers, we need to explore space. Retired Russian Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Mazurkin is a product of Western Russia. Born in Yershichi in the Smolensk region and raised a couple of hundred miles away in Oriol. He calls his childhood a typical one and says, even as a young boy, he wanted to go places no one had been to before. I wanted and decided to be a cosmonaut when I was a little boy. Uh, when I was a 13 years old uh, guy, I went to the aviation club. There I uh, made, made parachute jumping. Uh, there uh, I was flying on gliders. Becoming a pilot was next on his list. After school in Oriol, Mazurkin went to the Kasha High Air Force Pilot School in Volgograd, then finished his pilot training at the Armavir Military Aviation Institute in Krasnodar in southern Russia. He spent the next seven years in the Russian Air Force as a pilot instructor at the Krasnodar Military Aviation Institute before being selected as a cosmonaut in 2006. Mazurkin shares the philosophical view of the Russian rocket science pioneer Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, who believed that Earth is the cradle of humanity, but that mankind can't stay in the cradle forever. He was positive that uh, we are going to the space and uh, we will live in, uh, some, in, in other worlds, in other different places, and uh, it, the time will come in for this, I'm sure. That is why I think we should do this job. U.S. Navy Commander Chris Cassidy is a native of Salem, Massachusetts, who grew up in York, Maine, on the Atlantic coast. He was aware of the space program as a young boy, but admits he wasn't particularly interested. I was just like every other boy. I mowed, mowed lawns, had a couple odd jobs in restaurants and things in the summertime, but that was all to really pay my gas to drive to the basketball court. Cassidy left York after high school, first for a year at the Naval Academy Prep School, and then on to Annapolis, where he earned a bachelor's in mathematics. Next stop was San Diego to begin training in special operations as a Navy SEAL. After four years stationed in Virginia, he earned a master's in ocean engineering at MIT. And about that time, he became aware of a fellow Navy SEAL who'd had a similar career arc to his, astronaut Bill Shepard. So one day I actually met him or called him and uh, we had a, he gave me some great information and I thought, you know what, that sounds really uh, like a really fun job. I think I'd like to do that. So I was probably 
26 or 27 when the first and the idea first popped into my head. Cassidy applied, but didn't get the call from NASA. The next year, just weeks after September 11th, the SEAL platoon he commanded did get the call, and he was deployed to the Afghanistan region before the 1st of October. He returned home to another posting in Virginia, and he was selected for the astronaut program in 2004, just days after coming home from a second deployment to Afghanistan. Cassidy made three spacewalks on his first trip to the International Space Station on the 2009 space shuttle mission that delivered the components to complete construction of the Kibo Laboratory Complex. He's enthusiastic about his part in laying the groundwork for some future generation of Earthlings to fulfill their destiny to find a new home in space. But there'll be a time when there'll be people living on other planets. And it's the work, the hard work that we're doing right now, all of us across the globe, that are going to set the stage for, for that type of environment. Just like Christopher Columbus set sail one day across the ocean. And thanks to those great explorers, we live the life that we do today.